Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to force install Adobe Theater V4 for Windows 10 and make your Astro A50 Gen 1 and 2 sound even better referring to my last video I made about this headset. I know I said in the last video that the firmware update was the best thing you can do to them, but this will give you Adobe Digital Live and complete control with custom equalizer presets. And that's really the main thing I wanted this for. This will really help you out if you don't have a sound card and want to push surround sound on your PC through your A50s. This will also work for any Windows 7 and higher. Now to be honest I didn't think this was going to work at first because all the other videos I've seen on YouTube on how to do this either straight out didn't work or it made my sound stop working altogether. This is the only one I found that truly does work and installs everything without any errors. Now first you want to go to the link in the description and it's really as easy as following the instructions. I'm going to follow you through it but give you my own advice to what worked for me. And then at the end I'll show you my own preset to what sounds the best to me for the A50 Gen 2s. So first you want to uninstall the old drivers then reboot and then it'll continue uninstalling the Realtek drivers. And now then they say you need to disable the driver enforcement, but you just go to settings, then recovery, and then you want to restart now. And that'll and in those settings, it'll ask you if you want to disable that and you will need to do that or it'll give you an error if you try to install the drivers. And then you want to download the Adobe Home Theater right here. And then so it's going to tell you to unzip the file and install the game spirit which is right here run the setup and then they tell you to reboot your pc but when you reboot your pc you won't have the disabled driver enforcement anymore so you So you would have to do that back over and then install the Adobe Home Theater V4 EQ software and then if it tells you to reboot again you'd have to you know disable the driver enforcement again otherwise if you run this it won't work it'll give you an error. And then you reboot your PC and I didn't really need to do this because I have the Astro A50s so I didn't need to set my um my Hertz or anything but you do want to search Adobe in the start menu and then go to the profile creator and then import your profile from the Adobe home theater I mean, it's not really necessary to do that, but. And then that's about it, to be honest. Once you get those two things installed, and that's it. And then these are my settings. So I got a Rainbow Six preset. It looks like this. And then the Rainbow Six, uh, when you go into the game, I have it on night mode for the audio. And then this is for any other games that I play, such as Black Ops, PUBG, whatever else. I always thought that Rainbow Six used a different kind of preset for me because of that night mode uh, set. <coughs> But yeah, once you reboot your your uh, PC, you want to make sure you you go on the settings and put that, that driver enforcement off. And that's about it. So you would want to run this setup first. Reboot. Driver enforcement. 
and run the DTPC, it should go through. This wouldn't work for the Gen 3 Astro A50s because that has a built-in sound card. So thank you, YouTube, and have a good day.